hey welcome once again to my youtube video if you're new to this channel please subscribe and hit the notification bell to get all our latest uploaded video in this video what i'm going to talk about i'm going to talk about how to integrate tiny pesa with laravel laravel is a technology which i've been programming it for a while now i want to test it uh, i want to show people who want to integrate any pesa using laravel this is what they should do now first uh, for me here because of saving time i have already created here i have initialized creating a laravel application i can just guide you through on where it is because it takes long to create to create a to build up a, the main function of a laravel or to boot up a laravel application i've already so what i've just i've, I've i have accessed the laravel folder which i have initiated creating a new project which is called tiny pesa now this is a folder now it has created and injected all this then uh, here you can see here application is uh, already built something build something amazing so application key set successful now what i'll do i'll just come here and write dir sorry dir where i can view the redirectory so where i want to view these are all my laravel projects so i want to access this tiny pesa cd tiny pesa and cls where i can clear the terminal then i write code enter so that i can open the project in my visual studio code uh, my visual studio code so here it is this is my application which is there this is the, the all the structure of a laravel application i've initiated building it now let's do this i want to run this laravel application so what i'm the command that i'm going to run i'm going to run php uh, artisan artisan sorry artisan serve and press enter it will run now it's taking long to run now here it has sent it has set up an url this link i'm going to type it on my browser one and two with the port number eight thousand so that you can see now this is the first uh, it means our laravel application is running successful now what i want to do i want to create a, a controller a controller this this controller which i'm going to name it as love as tiny pesa controller yeah, let me access my code here you can see the controller here uh where is it here the controller i only have this default controller i want to create it you can create you can create it here manually but me what i like i like using the the terminal let me do this Control J, then uh, and then open the command line terminal because me I'm using Git Bash, uh, Git Bash to do everything. So if you want to create a, uh, uh, if you want to create a controller, what you need to do, you just write need to write PHP, artisan, sorry, artisan. Artisan, where am I missing? Artisan, make then this hyphen, then call. Con you, you can write PHP artisan make. Now we want to make a controller, so you write controller. Uh, sorry, I've missed there. Controller. And then you name the what you want to name the uh, the controller me i'm naming it as tiny tiny pesa control controller now this i've initiated building make php artisan make controller controller i think i've missed here I don't know why I'm missing this controller word. Now, after you've done that, then press enter. It 
means you have created the tiny pesa controller successful let me close this you can see here from our previous it has created a tiny pesa controller now this is where i'm going to build the function of uh, uh, this is where i'm going to build the function where we are going to use it to initiate tiny pesa first we need to create a method which which i'm going to apply plain it here i'm going to write public public function then the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to call this function as um, what am i going to call it as tiny tiny pesa sdk yeah tiny pesa sdk sdk then i'm going to write here going to do this then uh, this is what I'm going to do after that I'm going to write here because I want to post it request request then here uh, because I'm not requesting anything from any source this is what I'm going to do I'm going to write here a uh, this is why I'm going to write the function of the Pesa because we have already have the code here at our GitHub. Uh, let me view this tiny Pesa. Then let it to load. I want to copy that code where I'm going to update it here. I'm going to update it in the tiny Pesa. Let me click here. Let me click here then let me just copy this which is here so that we can replace which is here this one. Let me copy it and paste it here. Then let let us organize this code. Mm, we can do this. Uh, let me do this because I want just to load it from here. Mm, I don't want to request anything. I'm not requesting anything because I want just someone to reload this so that you can call this function from here then let's do this i uh, we we are going to edit here on how we are going to receive if it is successful or if it is, uh, if the nini if if it has failed because here we are just echoing it out but in uh, in laravel we just need to echo the the form as a json as a json as a json response now what we're going to do i'm going to comment on this then I'm going to do this mm, what I'm going to do I'm going to return this as JSON return I'm going to here here is where I'm going to return it as JSON let me first have think of another idea where I'm going to name this as I'm going to give this error as uh, this successful message as a variable so let me name it as um, success message message is equals to that so i can echo and now let me do this i want to because this is laravel i want to return i'm going to return i'm not going to return it as that i'm going to return it as a json response return now let me write response sorry return a response response as this json so this is successful message which is going to return this as this now then what i'm going to do i'm going to edit here also where i'm going to i'm going to do this is i'm going to name it as error error message message is equals to that where the same case i'm going to return i'm going to return the response response as that sorry i'm going to return response as this then i'm going to also do here the same case which i've done here because this is also an error message so that we can handle all, all the errors now this is where i'm going to return it as that 
can see now this we have updated it now we want to go to uh, to our API uh, so here I'm going to I put my number 07 68 then I want to replace my API key let me log in into my tiny pesa account which is here tiny pesa account let it load so that we can log in then get our API key log into this account then let me open my gmail first my gmail so that uh, I should save on time then I'm going to write on this key here. gmail uh, it's taking long let it open they have sent they have sent an email to me it to open we're waiting for the gmail to open uh, it's not this but it's this this is the other one which i want to receive message from uh, which i have been sent an email because email so that i can access my admin panel to get the api key which i'm going to replace it here so that we can test it from our side now let it load so that we can test it it's taking long a little bit but it will be okay it's taking long now this is the link which we have been sent where we can use it to access we can use it to access the uh, the admin panel now here it is now here here is the account go to developer i'm going to take my api key then I'm going to replace it. I'm going to replace it here. I'm going to replace it now because it is Laravel. I need to create a route where I can trigger it from this side so that we can see what's happening. I can trigger it from this application which is running. Now I first need to create a route. The route I'm creating the route from these routes. Then click web first i need to use i need to use the controller which i've created use uh, use app controller tiny person then after that i'm going to create a here down i'm going to create an a route which will be trigger so i'm going to write route route tiny person here but here this tiny person which is going to call this under this controller which is here you can see which is here this control it's going to call this method under which is this in this controller called tiny person controller so when i reload a link using stroke tiny person it will reload this controller so let's test it i'm going to take this then come to my browser then write in stroke then i'm going to test it. what is the error get method does not support route and so it means uh the method which i've used here this is sorry let us return uh, get method is not supported so uh because we have used post and me i'm not posting anything so i'm going to write here get so that we can access it via get request then let's reload it and see now here successful we have received and now we have initiated tiny pesa using here here is where i'm going to return now after you have created a, a successful transaction and it, uh, you have received a successful sdk push now remember you know in the php version of tiny pesa we also did callback url so i want to create a, a a method that will handle callback url so that i can create a url where you, which you are going to add on your tiny person now let, let's first create now the route which is going to handle the route which is going to handle uh, the route which is going to handle all the callbacks now this is what i'm going to do i'm going to write route route so route mm, route this 
so this is route tiny pesa callback but I'm, I'm not loving it. let me use this route tiny pesa callback where i'm going to create also a method called uh, let me write public then function public fun, fun, function name the method as that then do this and post it as that after that what i'm going to do i'm going to the, uh, to use the php code that is here this callback url mm, then i'm going to take this sorry what's up i'm going to take this 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 is what i'm going to use then i'm going to post it here and to paste it here so this is where it will reload this the callback now let's do this if you want the callback this is when when a successful transaction is sent you you will receive um, all the transaction information or the trans uh, transaction information that was initiated will be sent to this url the url will be accessed via where this in pesa url you, you copy this this is the route that you're going to use to access the tiny pesa url so when you want to update your webhook url you will write your domain then tiny pesa then the callback it means this is where you will receive all your callback this is the one that you are going to update it here as your webhook here but now I cannot test it. I cannot test it on my uh, on my local. You can only test it on a live domain. So here it's where your domain will be. Then tiny pesa, then callback. So this is where you will. This URL is where the callback URL. All the successful transaction will be sent. Then here in this callback uh, callback method, this is where you can handle. You can handle. Uh, uh, you can store. You can store. You can store successful transaction. If a transaction is successful, sorry. Let me remove this. Uh, if a transaction is successful, it means it will be zero. So it will be zero. If a transaction is successful, then store. The information the transaction in the database now you send you will get the you will say you will store this transaction in a database in a database here so here when that when a successful transaction will be sent you can store the transaction information in the database using this now that's how you create a callback method a callback method where it will be initiated by the callback url with the callback url that you're going to add it here when you are tiny pesa account now that's how you integrate a uh, tiny pesa on your laravel application all the codes will be, uh, will be on my github you can start the uh, you can start the project the repository and uh, please like and subscribe and share the this tech channel to your friends see you in my next video bye